The way that I prefer doing a Facebook Live video is by using Zoom to stream the video into Facebook. The reason is that by using Zoom, I can use screen sharing easily to be able to show diagrams or slides if I need to. And also by using Zoom, uh, when it's streaming into Facebook Live, I can also be recording it separately on my computer, the video file, so that I can upload it a schedule, uh, I can schedule a YouTube video uh, to be uploaded later and I can upload it other places in the future. So let me show you how to do uh, using Zoom to stream a Facebook Live video. The first thing you need to do, this is a one-time thing, is to go into your Zoom account, zoom.us slash profile slash setting, okay, log in. And once you get there uh, to the settings area, um, you're going to have to find the live streaming options. The easiest way to do that is by searching the page. And I do that on the Mac by doing Command F on a keyboard and I search Facebook. Okay. So on a Windows or PC, it's a uh, control F. And, uh, once I find that setting on the page, it's a very long settings page, but you find it using Facebook. Then I make sure that this is turned on, which is the blue pill instead of the gray pill. So this is turned on. And then I check the boxes for Facebook, uh, primarily. But if you want to try, playing around with uh, streaming to YouTube and other places, you can do that too, but that needs to be checked. Okay, so once that's checked, you also need to make sure you have downloaded the Zoom software to your computer. So go to zoom.us slash download and uh, click on download for Zoom client for meetings. Maybe you've already done this. This is obviously just a one-time thing you need to do. Install the software, open the software, log into your Zoom account in the software, and then, uh, then once you log in to the Zoom software on your computer, you'll see something like this. And then you go ahead and click on new meeting to basically start a meeting with yourself. Let me go ahead and put everything into view. Uh, thanks for your patience. And once you start a meeting with yourself, you are now able to, um, click on more on the top, on the bottom right, and then click on live on Facebook. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right, so once you have done this, you can now select whether it should be shared to your Facebook personal profile, which is called your timeline. Let me make this a little bigger here. Or I prefer to share it to my Facebook business page. So I click on this and I click on share to your page. And then I select the page. If you have multiple pages, you could, uh, you could, um, select the correct page by clicking on, on menu, but that's the correct page. And then the, Video title is going to be what's what this is. So make sure you you delete this and select. Um, I'm going to just type in testing a Zoom FB live video. Okay, and then this is the description that shows up above the Facebook video. So you know I usually type you know a few uh, a few sentences here. If I have a link for them to go to a blog post that's associated with the video, I might do that. So testing description for FB live. You can do multiple paragraphs. Okay. So here's, okay. So once we've done that, scroll down and click on go live and let's see what happens here. I'm just going to move my video up here. Okay. So it's looks, okay. It says this meeting is being live streamed. Got it. All right. So it is still doing all that. And, and here's what you're not seeing, what you're not seeing. Oh, actually, um, Okay, what you're not seeing, sorry, I'm going to move my browser out of the way. What you didn't see was that the meeting already started on, on, on my Zoom software. It's, it's already live on Facebook. So what you can do afterwards is to trim the beginning of the meeting because you're probably figuring out that you, you didn't realize you were live already on Facebook. So you can trim the first, you know, five to 15 seconds or a minute that you discover that you took to discover that you're already live on Facebook. It's actually faster than what, and then the browser loading the, um, the meeting on zoom is, um, it, it just goes live on Facebook before you know it. So later on, if you look below this video, I will give a link to how to trim the Facebook live videos so that, you know, it doesn't show the beginning flailing around. But what I do is once I know that I am live on Facebook, 
then what I would do, I was, I would click the record button to record the video so that it will have a video file that I can put onto YouTube and other places. And when I press record, once I press record, that's when I actually start speaking on the video. Um, and that's of course later when I trim the beginning, I will trim it up to that point. So then I'll say, I'll, I'll go, I'll go like this. And I, then I start my video by, you know, either, you know, either introducing myself or introducing the topic is usually what I do. So once the video is done, then the thing I'll do first is to stop. Uh, well, actually, I don't, I'm sorry. I don't even need to stop the, the, the Zoom video because I basically click on end meeting. Okay. So I click end meeting for all. And that way it both stops the, um, it stops the Zoom uh, stream into Facebook and it also stops the video recording of the separate files. So you can see that the file has already been recorded and it's already here on my, on my desktop. And this is where, what I can rename, you know, rename this, uh, really cool video title for YouTube or whatever, right? And then that's the, that's the video that I would upload to YouTube and, you know, other places as needed. So, I hope this is helpful. Uh, any questions, comment below, or any other tips for fellow Facebook, Zoom video streamers, go ahead and comment below. Thanks a lot.